Hi, welcome to Reading at Home, where every day is a reading day. I'm Gail Boucher. We're reading to ourselves. It might look a little different. I moved areas. Got to get really comfy today, but let me show you a few other things that I've added to my cozy area. And that is, I have a whole bunch of things to read because if I want to stay engaged for 25 minutes, I have to have enough that keeps me going. So I have picture books that I could read. I haven't, I found these. I love these. I've read them before. You've already seen these books by Mia Colton. So I'll reread some of these. You've seen me read the book about the cats and all the wonderful language. I'll read a little bit of that. But I also brought magazines. We've got these around the house. It's winter, it's not really winter anymore, but I'm gonna reread some of that. Also, I have my, I'm a teacher, and I was going through my books and I have my favorite author. Do you have favorite authors too? I have other um, chapter books that are favorite authors, but she's my favorite author, uh, Regie Routman of professional books. So I thought I might just have it here and just start rereading some of the books of hers. And again, I have other magazines just in case depends on how I feel when I'm reading but my whole goal is to stay engaged reading for 25 minutes so let me put these back up here all ready to go I also have a notebook you've already seen this I can jot notes down of language I love I can also add words to my vocabulary um, if I find words if you remember I already wrote down ignore and I wrote down, what was that other word? I must, oh, neglected. I felt very neglected. So I need to add more words to that. I have a pen. Um, what also is different today, I grabbed something to drink. I have a little, um, a little tea in here. You might have a little water or so, because it could be, you might need it. I also have a blanket. If you have a blanket, sometimes a blanket can get you really cozy and let you know you're gonna be here a while. And I know. And sometimes just having um, a little animal that you love, that you've had forever, I know I'm an adult, but sometimes it feels kinda nice. Or if you're reading, or you have a brother or sister who's reading and they need someone to read with, they can read to their little stuffy or their stuffed animal. So they can be next to you right here. This happens to be Danny from, from Mia Colton's book. Anyway, okay, so I am ready. I am ready for 25 minutes. Let's quickly review what we know to be true about reading to ourselves. We're gonna be independent all by yourself. We already know this. Uh, the reason, because reason, knowing why is really important. It will help you become a better reader. It will help you work on skills of becoming a better reader. But the other most important thing is it's really fun. Once you get into it, it's really fun. It can take you places, especially in this important time when you are at home. Um, but these are things that you're gonna be able to do even when you don't need to be home anymore, you'll be able to have lots of stamina for reading for wherever you are. Behaviors you already know, read the whole time, stay in one spot, read quietly. If you have a younger brother or sister who's reading a little louder, sometimes they just have to do that. Um, start right away, ignore distractions, build that reading stamina, we're up to 25 minutes persevere I can I have lots of things ready to help me persevere today remember the other reason we're doing this is because you have family at home and some of them they need to be independent too you'll be independent they'll either be working and or reading and let's just quickly go over this we know there's three ways to read a book read the pictures words and retell the story um, reread things over and over again I've shown you that Check for understanding. We have to stop and think what we're not, what we're learning about. That's also why sometimes I write things down. So get your notebook, you can draw what you're thinking. Um, record stamina, we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna show you another way to add to this. Have a conversation in your head, be thinking, ask the author questions. 
add words to your word collector and also language that you love. Okay, today I'm gonna to show you another way. Doug's not here to, to keep track of our time, so you're gonna start doing that yourself. If you have a watch or if you have a phone or someone else does or you have a, a, a clock on the wall, put that time in your head. Today, for ourselves, I'm going to put the timer on my phone and I'm going to time us for 25 minutes. Now, what we also know is we may truly have to persevere, but we can do it. Here's an interesting thing. My watch doesn't say 25, but I'll figure that out. Okay, are we set? You know what you're doing while you're doing it? Get really, really comfortable and you and I are going to be reading buddies and we're gonna to read together and let's begin.
Oh, and there we have it, guys. I need to stop. Cancel. 25 minutes, and I must have, I must say, I may have not got that number exactly right, but it's close to 25 minutes. But how did you do? Were you able to stay focused? Were you able to read lots of different things? I certainly did, and here's what I found. If I get, if I start to get tired or feeling like I can't do it, if I pick up a different kind of reading material, it really helps. Can I share some things that I learned? And this is a really important thing with, um, when you're finished to really think about what you've read. One of the things I read about is plants. So I'm really excited to read a little bit more about this because I can learn more about plants. I also wanted to show you this book, um, Strange Things, because in it, it's uh, the publisher is Richard Owen, but I love this. I'm not sure if you already know this, but right here, it has an ellipse, dot, 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 suspense, suspense. We held our breaths, we waited, and then, and the author makes you turn the page. You have mice! I love this book. That was so much fun for me to read. I read more about the cats. My goodness, Ratchet. Ratchet is just learning lots of things. He's a new, he's a younger cat, and every single day he is learning new things and he's trying to make his way in a new place. So this author just has so many amazing different pieces of language. What I did also here today is I was ready to put it down. I ripped off a piece of paper, stuck it right in here, and there's my bookmark. So I know where to pick up next. And I must show you, as I told you, I was going to do some rereading here with Rigi Routman. She rem I was reminded that a lot of times she says for us as teachers, to, for us, but also for kids, to keep track of things that you're reading, to look back on. Look at all the things I read today. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. Here's one way. You might already have it. But I'm going to show you a way that goes right with your stamina chart that you have. So we just read for 25 minutes. What I can do then is turn this right here and right in this same spot, I can just write a title of something I read today. I think I'm going to write down, because I loved this book, Strange Things, I'm going to write Strange Things things right in here. Strange things. Do you see that? I just wrote it right there. So that tells me, oh, when I look at this and see all the stamina I have, I can go back and go, ah, I read that book. I also am going to write down, I'm going to write down the cats because I keep reading that. A comma for the cats. I don't need to write all of the books down, but those are just ones I want to remember. Here's the thing, guys. Here's what you can do now. You can ask one of your family members if you can take a photo of this and send it to your teacher. Show your teacher how much reading you have been doing, and you can also, they'll be able to see what it is that you are reading. And they can celebrate with you. They can go, oh my gosh, Gail, you've read 25 minutes and look at the books that you've read. Share it with people in your family. So that is what this is all about too, is sharing the things that we're learning and reading because people care about what you're doing. Okay, how did we do? By 25 minutes, you got it. Which one of these is something that you want to work on next? Is it staying in one spot? Is it ignoring distractions? Whatever it is, think about that for next time. We have one more time. We have a 30 minutes. So if you're ready to move up to 30 minutes, click on that next video. And if you want to do 25 for a while or 20, do that too. Whatever works for you so that eventually you can read up to 30 minutes. So remember, keep going because every day at home, 
is a reading day. Thanks for joining me.